Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. I hope you're all doing well. So in today's pick a card reading, we are going to see who is coming towards you in love. We're going to take a look at details about their personality, about their energy, about their star sign and a number that might be relevant for this connection using some astrodices. We are also going to take a look at some initials and at the end of each reading, we are also going to see when you're going to meet this person, when are they going to come into your life, just to get more details, so make sure you stick until the very end of your reading for that. There's three piles to choose from. This is pile number one with the green stone. Okay, pile number two with the blue stone. And pile number three with the clear stone. Okay, so please choose the pile that you feel the most drawn to and after you're done choosing, you can skip ahead to your reading using the timestamps down below. But before we get started, please take a quick moment to hit like and also to subscribe to the channel for more readings like this in the future. And if you're interested in any of the decks that I'm using today, you'll find all the links in the description box below so you can check them out. And with that being said, I'll see you on your reading. Hello, my beautiful pal number one. Welcome to everyone who chose the green stone. So I'm going to put your stone on the side and let's take a look at who is coming towards you. You were drawn to the card younger man and it says dealings or relationship with a younger man so i'm sensing that this person is, that's coming towards you it's quite a direct energy and message that we have it's a person that's going to be younger in age a person that resonates very strongly with the masculine energy so it can be a person that identifies as a man or it could be just a, a person that has a very strong masculine energy regarding them we have here dealings or relationships so i'm sensing that yeah this person uh uh, you're going to have like um, a, a strong connection with like a, a relationship that maybe is going to start off by you know having dealings with this person like maybe meet them in your workplace maybe at your studies like having to interact with this person okay and therefore like there's going to uh the connection is going to pick up from there uh so yeah overall i'm sensing more younger energies about this person uh younger in age okay now let's take a look at your tarot cards first and see what else we have about who is coming towards you okay so we have three cards that jumped we have the knight of swords we have the king of cups and the emperor it's so interesting we have the emperor and also the king of cups uh because uh, i'm saying that because the, the emperor represents a more mature energy so i'm sensing that even though this person might be younger in age they are very mature for their age um someone who has like a lot of life experience maybe they've been through a lot or they've accumulated quite a lot of experience or they've learned a lot during their life let's see what else we have six of swords okay so um now that we have your tarot cards i'm going to start with your reading so pile number one i feel like there's definitely uh that energy as i said earlier that this person has a very um like strong experience life experience okay so maybe they've been through many things maybe they've um dealt with a lot of challenges throughout their life and they've managed to overcome those and therefore they have like this wise um yeah like mentally they're very skilled and wise and i feel like they also are really good you know in their job so if they have maybe even their own business here with the emperor because this is showing like owner type of energy a person that's owning something a person that's higher up in a position at work either way in their career i'm sensing that they are yeah, in a position more higher up they are very well respected a person with a lot of authority and it's so uh inspiring to see that at such a younger age okay we have um this life experience and this expertise because this also shows like a lot of skills you know that you've developed throughout their life so this person really developed their skills they've learned a lot they became really wise really experienced and they can share that you know i'm sensing that they're sharing it throughout, uh, throughout their job with people you know with um 
their yeah their co-workers i'm sensing that they might be either a manager or as i say owning their own business they're in a well well established position that's for sure okay and more about their personality with the emperor i'm sensing that they are very protective uh more like um able to be logical but also like being able to to stay in touch with their feelings so it's really interesting mixture that's why i'm saying like this person really grew a lot as a person you know like really uh experienced on this journey of of growing as a person and becoming a better version or learning more about themselves right they reached a position where they're like really in tune with who they are and i see here that they are capable of being very logical and rational and like looking at things from a practical perspective but at the same time they have this um all the side of them that's more emotional more uh, sensitive uh empathic i'm sensing that they're very empathic and caring and genuinely like interested in in like making sure yeah like they get other people they can listen to other people so that's why i'm saying like they are very well respected they are very admired okay so maybe through their work through what they're doing this person is being really admired and inspired uh, inspiring um influence okay towards others with the king of cups yeah i do see here that they're very empathic very uh good at you know intuitively picking up on others energy so i feel like maybe that's helping them in the work with people so may they might be working with people um guiding people or sharing their knowledge and experience okay and i feel like also they're very loving very romantic with the king of cups in here so yeah this person is going to be really affectionate towards you showering you with compliments with romantic gestures really attentive and caring towards you right also i do see here with the king of uh, sorry knight of swords there is this energy of being very direct very, being very straightforward in their communication in their approach a person that is um like an action-oriented person no doubt that we had here the masculine energy that i was talking about because i do see here two cards of very strong masculine energy so we have the aries uh, star sign in here okay it might resonate for some of you but we're going to take a look at the astrodices later on but i feel like yeah with the knight of swords this person is that kind of person that doesn't wait around for things to happen to them they go after them themselves they are taking action they're taking initiative being that person that takes the first step so i'm sensing that they're going to be the one that's going to take the first step towards you right uh they're going to be very direct in their communication uh with you they're going to tell you their feelings and express their feelings straight up i'm sensing that they're very ooh, <laughs> stable emotionally they are a person with very strong uh, emotional intelligence they are capable of communicating their feelings and emotions effectively of opening up you know uh, when the situation requires it so i'm sensing this is someone who really did that you know work okay uh in the yeah, very determined a lot of willpower so no doubt if they have already like a successful business or they are already in like a higher up position like in their career being successful being admired with a lot of authority because i do see that this is someone that really has a strong determination and willpower into achieving things an achiever okay and with the six of swords i'm sensing that you know this person maybe when you're gonna meet them they're going to be like recently uh leaving something behind like maybe a relationship maybe um maybe a situation that was no longer serving them maybe they just traveled like recently from a different country uh re-establishing themselves in a different place because i do see here there's this energy of a new beginning of a bit of a transition of leaving something behind and moving towards better things right um and also the swords sometimes represent like cutting off something so i'm sensing that, yeah this person has very high standards they they respect themselves they know their worth and they're no longer going to accept something that's not serving them or is bringing is not bringing any value 
but more so it's like bring, weighting them down, it's bringing them down. And with the swords, yeah, I see here that they have this capacity like to be pragmatic when the situation uh, requires it and cut off, you know, uh, whatever is meant to be in the past and no longer serving them. Okay, let's take a look at your oracles now, pile number one, and see more about who is coming towards you. So yeah, we have regeneration. So there's definitely that message again of a transition that they leaving something behind, leaving the past behind and regenerating, you know, like maybe uh, rising up from a more difficult situation in their career or in their business or romantic, yeah, personal life. And they are always rising up from the ashes. They have a lot of determination, willpower. They have that inner strength and wisdom in order to rise up and not let themselves be crashed down by a more challenging situation yeah let's see what else we have about who is coming towards you so i'm going to keep the card that flipped and that is love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so i did mention that this person is really having a strong uh, sense of respect towards themselves they love themselves they have like from not from a narcissistic point of view i'm just sensing more it's from a confident point of view from a uh, healthy point of view right so i'm sensing that they are very attractive towards others yeah they come across as very attractive especially because they have this confidence about them they have this uh self-love self-respect that it makes them more romantically attractive towards others so it's just um confirmation to what i was saying let's see what else we have for pile number one who is coming towards you so we have two cards that decided to jump oh my god it's so crazy we have two cards that basically say the same thing we have regeneration here and another card of regeneration so very strong energy that this person is uh the kind of person that doesn't let them like themselves be drowned by challenges this is someone that always rises up from the ashes and always finds a way to move forward and rise to the top um and what's even more interesting is the fact that we've got here the symbol for aries star sign and we have here aries uh star sign as well represented in the emperor okay so might be very strongly represented in their chart and we also have a uh, success yeah so a successful person a person that found the key to success someone who managed to reach a like higher up position in their achievements to reach a position where they are happy and fulfilled with their lifestyle like achieving their dreams their goals uh, a person that others see as successful and being an inspiration and more tied up with that aries energy i do see here with the knight of swords again uh the aries represent more of a taking action type of person like someone who like doesn't sit for long and overthink things but like takes that first step you know like uh, head first but i feel like they were more like that like naturally uh especially with the knight of swords because i see sorry knight of swords because i see like that impulsiveness in here but i feel like during their life and their experiences they sort of managed to grow that natural impulse and become more wise in their approach but they still got that strong action-oriented energy okay and let's see what else we have about who is coming towards you oh okay we have soulmate and cassette so another two cards soulmate soul connection partnership agreement soul contract so i'm sensing this person that's coming towards you is going to be a soulmate connection to you pal number one someone you're gonna feel this a connection that's more like different and strong it's gonna feel like a soul connection uh like a partnership and agreement between like two souls um like you're gonna have this sense of security of safety with this person and trust yeah even though you just met them it's gonna give you a sense of familiarity and we also have cassette outdated thinking conditioning replaying events over in your head so i feel like this person has more of a traditional um maybe a uh, view of of things like maybe certain values that seem more uh like in that category of outdated thinking like someone who likes to even though they are younger they have like this more older mature um mind space where they like or way of thinking um also like 
that they are someone that really are like sometimes like really focusing on what happened in the past so even though they have this uh practicality where they are able to cut off you know from what happened in the past like something that was no longer serving them they still have this thing that maybe uh it's hard for them to to move on or in their head you know like even though they take that action that deep down they know it's going to be best for them for the long term yeah from cutting off certain people or situations at the same time they they are still like replaying for quite a while like events and things like going on in their head like uh, and here comes this more emotional side of them right so they managed to develop this ability to be more pragmatic but at the same time their emotional self and their more sensitive self like takes over sometimes and i'm sensing that they're kind of person that gets really attached uh to when when it comes to a person or a relationship so yeah once they get attached it's like genuine feelings they are cap capable of true love they are looking for uh, stability right and more of a traditional relationship let's take a look at when you're gonna meet this person by looking at the months of the year so we have may okay oh i cannot pick up the card okay so we have may which is like quite soon if you're watching this wedding uh when i'm gonna release it it's like late spring okay now let's take a look at the star sign in a number that might be relevant for this connection so we have number six and we have Leo energy. Oh, okay. So still a fire star sign energy. Even though we had Aries here, maybe strongly represented in their chart, but fire, yeah, is like strongly connected to that masculine energy. Also, uh, Leos are very determined. Uh, people that, yeah, like they do respect themselves. They have this thing uh, where they can have like that confidence determination as i said right now last but not least let's pick up some initials for you pal number one and see what we have about who is coming towards you right let me gather and then i'm gonna start flipping them so we have j we have l we have t twice N, I, A, we have W, S, we have U, R, E, Y, O. We have another E, another W, another R, and another U. Okay, so this is everything that I have for you, my beautiful pal number one. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, give it a like and also subscribe to the channel for more readings like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Hello, my beautiful pal number two. Welcome to your reading for everyone who chose the blue stone. So let's take a look at who is coming towards you. So my dears, you were drawn to the bear card and it says danger, especially in money matters. So I'm sensing that this person that's coming towards you could be someone that is going to struggle or are currently struggling with money. So either uh, during that time when you're going to meet or even just now, like in present energies, they might be having like uh, money problems, like struggling with finances. Also, it could be uh, your energy with this bear card that maybe when you're going to meet them, that around that time, you're going to be in a more of a low point financially or like struggling with money during that time. Or it could be like I feel like for a few of you could be resonating that this person is going to bring certain uh, like issues in your money like uh, be kind of like a danger to your money in your financial uh, financial situation but let's see more details using your tarot cards and see 
more de yeah like about what this person uh is let's see we have the devil and the two of swords which i need to cover so i'm gonna put it like this okay let's see who is this person that's coming towards you okay we have two more cards five of swords and the page of wands all right so i feel like yeah with the devil card you know it is that message of a bit of toxicity that's gonna be you know like regarding this person surround and this energy surrounding this person right so i feel like they have maybe this this more of a toxic energy about them of really trying to control everything in their life or like trying to be overly in control over maybe their partner or maybe of, about you once you're going to meet this person there's going to be this more of a controlling toxic dynamic where it could be uh, representing a danger in your money like maybe this person is going to try to mess around in the way you're handling your financial situation you're handling your money right i see here like an energy of blockage so i feel like this person you know it, it, maybe you two are going to try to to work on a project together and maybe this person will be like very blocked and like really find um an, an, an inability to see uh like solutions to certain issues financially um maybe even create more of a blockage uh, when it comes to finances and i see here that there's going to be some sort of argument between you and this person okay so overall I, i'm sensing that it's going to be a bit of a toxic dynamic yeah um i see blockage i see arguments i see um some misunderstandings here with the five of swords but are going to end up in an agreement in a compromise so I do see like here with the page of phones also like a positive outcome to this situation. I feel like overall, yeah, this person is going to come into your life and there's going to be some sort of issues from this financial perspective. Either you and them are going to start a project together, you're going to work together, or you're going to just, you know, from a couple's perspective, it's going to be hard managing finances. You're going to find out maybe this person trying to be overly controlling about spendings or uh, about the way you are managing your finances or trying to just maybe like teach you but like or, or help you but becoming a bit toxic with how controlling they're gonna start to be um and i feel like also there's going to be this sense of yeah like blockage of like also confusion like not seeing a way out of this situation maybe you're gonna reach a um, a time where it's going to be really hard financially and this person will really be just like unable to find a solution or unable to um to to see a way to pull you out of this situation or maybe it's your energy but i do see that it's going to be this blockage or maybe you you two are going to reach a point where you're going to be unable to see a way out with this connection out of this misunderstandings miscommunication okay so it could be that at certain point there's going to be this more closed up energy with guarding this heart here um the communication is going to be blocked unable to really maybe communicate things effectively between the two of you and you're going to stop like being able to interact in a peaceful way or being unable to see eye to eye unable to see from each other's perspective so therefore yeah there's like swords of like uh miscommunication um unable to see things clearly for each other unable to see eye to eye and that's gonna create maybe a blockage in the way you're gonna interact with each other as a couple as in your connection unable to maybe see a solution to your issues either financially or even like when it comes to the relationship like unable to see a future maybe okay so it's gonna be like a bit of a bumpy road i see um but yeah overall i sense here with the five of swords that there's gonna be some sort of agreement between the two of you and this person is going to compromise yeah i do see that they're going to compromise maybe they're going to come to this realization that they're becoming a bit toxic with this needful control with 
um, everything that's going to be going through. So I'm sensing that there's going to be an agreement, a compromise that is going to allow things to cool off, to the heat to, to be tamed down. And I do see that eventually things are going to start to be more easy with the page of wands, right? I see here, um, you know, this person is really like able to maybe find a new solution, a new a new idea maybe that I, I sense that you're going to be very passionate about or you both of you will be really passionate about the page represents um like a solution or the beginning of a journey that is going to maybe bring back that excitement it's either going to be like maybe a new restart to your connection and finally bringing back that passion bringing bringing back the excitement and finally being so optimistic and positive looking forward to the future together and being able to see a future together or it could be like regarding finances when it comes to this connection and um being able to see eye to eye and being able to find a solution or an idea that's going to help you pull you out from that uh more of a struggling place financially right let's take a look at your oracles and see more about who is coming towards you Pile number two who is coming towards you who is coming towards you pal number two okay wow so we have four cards that decided to jump and we have to be fair and we have the like scale here which reminds me of balance so i feel like you're going to start being able to play open up and be more honest in your communication and yeah I, i'm sensing that this person is really going to like try to be as honest as possible with you and that's going to help maybe reach this uh compromise i see here chaos and conflict yes there's going to be some chaos and conflict definitely i do see like some misunderstanding some conflicts in here going on between the two of you misunderstandings disagreements um and it's going to create a bit of a uh, chaos yeah in uh, the dynamic of the connection um i'm also sensing maybe this is someone who finds it hard to control themselves when they are angry with the bear here right like maybe this is someone that when they, once they are angry like they're quick to to jump on conclusions or quick to act based on based on that anger and like scream and therefore they're they're just creating like these misunderstandings like an ability to communicate properly and maybe this should be like a, something that they're gonna be working on we have here like new life so yeah it's going to be a new start for this connection like the beginning of a new life together where things are going to be reached to an agreement things are going to be settled and you're going to look towards the future with Opt uh, or being optimistic with excitement uh being passionate about what's yet to come like bringing back the passion in the connection bringing back the positive energies and we have milk and honey and i love that we'll have this card for you because it represents hope yeah like with the rainbow like after the rain after the chaos and conflict it comes the rainbow the peace milk and honey represents abundance so again financially i feel like uh, you're going to recover you're going to reach abundance you're going to reach a place of stability and i'd see like milk and honey also representing happiness within the connection within the relationship being able to understand each other being able to be sweet and romantic and gentle towards one another feeling happy feeling fulfilled uh things becoming sweeter within the connection and leaving behind this uh conflict and chaos that we had here okay let's take a look at another oracle deck and see what we have whoa so the first card that jumped and i'm gonna keep it uh that flipped it was trust and it says this situation is calling for you to have faith so spirit is saying that it's gonna be a bit of a struggle sometimes and maybe it's gonna be like a connection where both of you will have to work on the relationship more or you're going to work on each other as a person on growing together as a connection but i feel like 
uh, by having trust, yeah, this is going to be that type of situation where it's going to be calling for you to have faith, either if it's going to be like between the two of you or financially or both. I sense that spirit is saying this is going to be a situation to, that's going to call for some faith, for some hope. Yeah, hope that things will get better, milk and honey and abundance will uh, reestablish into into your connection and this new start this new life will bring a lot of happiness and joy and passion back so trust that things uh will will sort out you know eventually even during these hard times so i feel like it's going to be a bit of a triggering connection but i feel like it's definitely going to help you to like grow as people and maybe grow together yeah if you trust you know if you hold on to each other and trust uh and work into making this connection uh better but i do see like here reaching an agreement and compromising we have abundance yes and i did say abundance with milk and honey so i see abundance coming for you you and this person will reach a place of abundance emotionally financially um things are going to like settle down and things are going to start to feel like you're you're finally getting like blessed and, and grateful for the abundance that you're getting um seeing like improvements seeing results seeing growth maybe financially after a more difficult time okay let's see what else we have love so we have unconditional love self-love oneness passion affection attraction so we have here passion yeah i did see that there's going to be a lot of attraction between you and this person the passion is going to be there but maybe sometimes passion is going to bring some heated moments because two more passionate people can quite easily like get things heated up or this person that's coming towards you they are very passionate person a passionate lover someone that is going to be very attracted to you they're going to offer you a lot of affection but at the same time yeah they're gonna love you unconditionally but at the same time like on the other side of the spectrum they're gonna be more of an impulsive person or someone who is as i said quick to anger quick to act based on that emotional mm, you know feeling yeah on, on the moment um and that can go hand in hand it's like a sword with two uh edges like being really passionate but at the same time, like that passion can sometimes transform in anger or even jealousy here, right? We have the, the devil, which can represent jealousy as well. Okay, so let's take a look at when are you going to meet this person. So we have December, okay? So winter time during uh, around the time of holidays. Uh, but it's just like whole month of December okay let's take a look at their star sign and a number that might be relevant for this connection so we have number two okay and we have the star sign capricorn which is also represented in the devil energy which is a confirmation yeah that this person might have like capricorn very strongly represented in their chart and capricorns you know like are quite uh, known for their stubbornness so i mean it, it's it's very generalizing but at the same time like it's something that's related to the star sign it's something that um resonates with a lot of uh, capricorns so i feel like um might be that this person is very stubborn and that's why there's a lot of like harder ways to communicate or like someone who can be very controlling and stubborn uh, regarding certain things like wanting to have things done their own way therefore is going to create like this tension okay and last but not least let's pick up some initials for you pal number two so who is coming towards you okay let me gather your initials and i'm gonna start flipping them so straight we have two a's <laughs> yeah two a let me push that card we have l we have s p we have b d two o's we have t e once again, E, C, 
see. We have an N. We have K. And last one is an U. Okay, so this is everything that I have for you, panel number two. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, give it a like and also subscribe to the channel for more readings like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Hello, my beautiful panel number three. Welcome to your reading for everyone who chose the clear stone. So let's take a look at who is coming towards you. My dears, you are drawn to the seahorse card and it says family matters. So I'm picking up that this person that's coming towards you will be triggering some sort of family matters. Maybe it's someone that your family won't agree with this person or it's someone that is going to be like very different than what your family would want for you. Or if you feel like it's resonating very strongly that your family sometimes like or even most times is like trying to um, influence you or to have an opinion about who you're dating or who you having a relationship with then this might resonate as well or it could be that there's going to like be some sort of like family misunderstandings uh, when it comes to this person yeah some sort of misunderstandings or like trigger some sort of triggers yeah regarding your family either yours or their family okay could be resonating both ways let's take a look at your tarot cards and see more details about this person that's coming towards you pal number three um let's see what else we have seven of swords okay it's coming towards you we have nine of pentacles okay it's coming towards you and we have the fool that was flipping who is coming towards you pound number three okay i'm sensing these two cards we're like jumping out of the deck so i'm gonna keep both of them we have seven of cups and the six of pentacles all oh, right okay so what i'm picking up with your tarot cards is that you know with this person there's going to be some sort of situation where i feel like you will feel like someone is doing something behind your back and I'm, I'm sensing it's not regarding this person that's coming towards you we have here family matters and i do see here a lot of cards of like positivity right like positive cards you're going to feel really like happy with this person with the nine of pentacles you're gonna have this sense of like not having to worry feeling fulfilled feeling like you can enjoy life with this person you, you two will enjoy each other's company and feeling safe and secure within the connection we have pentacles here pentacles here that represent long-term relationship commitment that you know this person is going to commit to you they're going to show you that their feelings are real this person will be there for you will be uh, a reliable partner someone that you can find support into right and i do see here that you're going to really enjoy this connection fully not having to worry not having to uh, like second guess things like you're really gonna know where you stand with this person you're gonna have this sense of security as i said and instability within the connection also with the six of pentacles it's gonna f be that sense of like putting both uh, like of you 100 into the connection you're gonna have this sense of balance okay within the relationship like both of you will be equally invested equally um yeah like interacting with each other and putting effort and energy into the connection to make it work to communicate to like also like aff be affectionate with one another so i see uh, an element of mutuality between you and them really feeling like you're offering but you're also receiving and that's going to give a sense of peace a sense of security within the relationship balance uh, I do see like very positive energies regarding this relationship with between you and this person okay but with that being said I feel like there's going to be this element of maybe someone like 
from either your family or their family like doing something behind your back saying something like either you know someone from their family trying to maybe mess around and maybe tell you certain things or trying to tell them certain things about you and doing that behind your guy's back and like creating this like a breaking of a trust for someone i see here like really like someone doing something behind your back and breaking your trust like feeling like you cannot trust that person anymore or creating some sort of discord okay and that's why we have here like family matters uh creating some sort of discord creating some lack of trust maybe some miscommunication um like hiding certain things doing something behind your back that's going to create some misunderstandings even like lack of trust yeah and that's going to be like really not the ideal situation obviously we have here with the seven of cups that um i see there's going to be a lot of confusion um so you're going to like really be looking at these different scenarios that these scenarios are not real because the seven of cups speaks about something that's in the imagination realm something that's not real it's not here it's not happening it's something that's in your imagination or you you're going to be told certain stuff um and looking at all these options that you you're gonna have but it's like either being being confused of being portrayed so many things that are actually not real and not knowing what to believe or even like not knowing which like um which choice to to believe into like either yours or either what these people are telling you or either what this person maybe said something behind their back or um or choosing to believe what you experience in the connection or what your partner is saying or what this other person is telling you uh or like choosing like uh their um yeah what the story of your partner or the story that you know like you found out behind their back it's like a lot of discord and a lot of like confusion that i see going on that's going to be created probably by certain family members or a family member like someone that's really going to try to mess around with you guys um so yeah it's going to be triggering some sort of family matters misunderstandings confusion and I do see you like really trying your best to like choose the best uh, option possible or having a time of confusion throughout this connection having a time where you you won't know which which option to believe like which one to believe okay because you're gonna feel this lack of trust you're gonna feel betrayed at a certain point but i feel like things will get cleared up and i see here with the full uh really like jumping into this new journey together okay so with the full this is a card of courage a card of um wanting to take the risk to take a leap of faith yeah see jump off that cliff uh but i'm and yeah i'm picking up with this person that this is someone that's going to be keen and like down to like let's leave everything behind and like let's move on to our own journey i sense this person is very like carefree and very brave and open to new open to change so it might be that this person will really like ask you to start fresh maybe somewhere else because we have here like some sort of element of traveling yeah like taking your baggage and also like they're very romantic towards you with the rose they're they're going to be like really trying to enjoy this connection and tell you like let's move on from all this drama and leave it behind and start fresh or uh, on our own journey and focus on ourselves take this leap of faith maybe to um yeah like just build a life together so if it's going to be their family and it's going to try to mess around i'm sensing that this person will be choosing to to give this relationship a chance and not focus on uh, these matters right if it's your energy i'm sensing that you will be ready to leave behind this 
drama and move on with this person so i i do see this element this energy of wanting to take the risk to feelings so trustworthy into this person like trusting this person trusting the process and even though not knowing what the future might hold in store for you like really opening your arms or opening emotionally in, in the face of this connection and embracing it fully okay and i feel like this is going to be the case because you're going to as i said have this feeling of safety with this person you're going to see you know their willingness to commit to you you're going to see how um much they're offering how much they're putting in you know in the connection because i do see here with the six of pentacles that this person is going to be really invested you know in this love in this connection and you, you're going to feel happy with them so there's no point in like not trusting them let's see what else we have on your oracle cards and we have not for you so again this message that you know you're gonna be told that this person is not for you so maybe someone yeah from the family is going to try to mess around um trying to influence you portraying you di these different uh scenarios that are not even real and are going to confuse you and it's maybe going to give you the sense that this person is not for you for a while okay um here it goes hand in hand with this lack of trust let's see what we have give your relationship a chance work on your partnership so yeah again we have that clarification that you will give this relationship a chance the full energy is getting confirmed again so you will choose to work on this partnership to give this relationship a chance regarding of everything that you you've been told or what happened you know like uh choosing to not hear the background noise and focus on yourselves and um give this relationship a chance because that's gonna be you know what i feel like your inner intuition is gonna be telling you let's see what else we have for panel number three whoa about who is coming towards you who is coming towards you panel number three okay so we have a bunch of cards that jumped so we have yeah uh passion so there's gonna be a lot of passion a lot of attraction between you guys oh you're really gonna feel loved and desired you know this person is really gonna show how much they are into you we have the duality card in yeah it's really like someone not going to yeah like show their true self i feel like someone from from like family either your or theirs are going to try to uh pretend something or, or create like a double um yeah situation like tell telling you or them certain stuff about the other one that are going to create this confusion uh someone is going to maybe pretend yeah like they're gonna talk to you in a certain way and talk to the your partner yeah in a certain way to this person that's coming towards you and having this dual uh yeah like energy and really like confusing the both of you and creating this lack of trust or mistrust between the two of you we have protection so i feel like you're going to feel secure and protected in the connection that's why you're gonna choose to believe your partner and choose to give it a chance to work on this partnership because you're gonna have this sense of protection of stability with the pentacles um we also have victory so you will be victorious over these dramas over these um trials to to maybe separate you you're going to be victorious you're going to like reach a place where you're gonna feel grateful that you chose each other and you're gonna reach a place of uh, happiness and fulfillment especially here with this nine of pentacles let's see what we have for panel number three who is coming towards you so we have um mirroring each other with a mirror self-image relationship reflect our wounds introspection and we have addiction codependent obsession possession controlling has a block restraint right so 
yeah, I feel like maybe with uh, this cars, this person, yeah, will be like more having like a more of a possessive or controlling um, dynamic sometimes in, within the connection. Or maybe this is what's even going to trigger like these family matters. But I'm sensing, you know, like this person will have maybe that an anxious type of attachment like being more codependent and yeah like definitely there's going to be this situation where you're gonna be either told yeah that it is this person is not for you you know this block this restraint will be coming off as you know maybe a red flag for maybe certain people from your family or their family um but I feel like it's more from from your side. Also, I he I hear here with the mirroring each other, so it's gonna be more of a triggering like type of relationship in the beginning. I feel like you two are going to mirror each other and mirror each other's wounds, right? You're gonna reflect each other's wounds, and I feel like oh, it's going to be that type of connection that is going to in, uh, get you to do a lot of introspection. Is going to get you to take some time to really think uh things through also with the duality might be this energy of mirroring each other of like seeing each other's wounds seeing each other's flaws in one another we have here also like this mutual energy um so i feel like overall you will get victorious over these struggles and you will be choosing to work on this partnership to give it a chance we have work on your partnership that means putting in the work into making it last into sorting out stuff into communicating stuff into creating a better dynamic in the connection so i feel like you will be choosing to work together to make the relationship healthier especially here like both of you will be offering and putting that intention into the connection we have victory so you will you will um get victorious and rise on top of these challenges and you will learn to to heal to to work together with this connection to um, heal each other's wounds to work on yourselves as as individuals but also as a couple okay so now let's take a look at when are you gonna meet this person that's coming towards you so we have april Okay, let's take a look at their star sign and a number that might be relevant for this connection. So we have, well, I, I, I literally was just thinking like with April is Aries season, but uh, yeah, we have Aries coming in. So yeah, this person um, might have Aries very strongly represented in their chart or um, yeah april like might be the time you're going to meet but also i feel like it's um a message for aries it's like a clarification for aries and we have number two as well okay uh aries also is represented more of a like it's like the first star sign a new beginning a new cycle also like taking that first step taking initiative and we have the full here like being more spontaneous not overthinking things and taking that leap of faith so it's really like again matching with the uh, whole team of your reading now last but not least let's pick up some initials for you card number three about who is coming towards you all right let me gather them all and i'm gonna start flipping them so we have w we have U, O, Oops. we have I, N, M, D, we have another I, I once again, X, N, so twice, A, 
A E F We have A and we have B. You know, um, oh, we also have another one, which is another I. I was going to say that when I saw in these cards with the victory and also protection card, we have like the symbol of the Aries star sign. And it's so crazy because I was like literally like, like having this message that this person might be Aries. This person might have like very strong represented Aries in their chart. And we have also April and I was thinking more about that. And then we had uh, Aries. So could be resonating very strongly. Okay, so this is everything that I have for you, my dear pal number three. I really hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, give it a like and also subscribe to the channel for more readings like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.